iPod Touch Second Generation Breakdown. The best place to start prying up the glass is on the side of the volume switch as shown. There are clips on the opposite end and in the middle. On the other side, there are four more clips as shown. On one end, there are two buttons that need to be popped out. On the top, there is just one button in the middle. Press one opening tool between the glass and the back plate to separate the frame from the clips. It should lift up as shown. Using another tool, release the frame's clips from the back plate. Make sure that all the clips are free. The frame should now be free from the back plate. There is a ribbon cable holding the glass and digitizer to the main board. Disconnect the ribbon cable from the clip. Now you can pry up the other side's clips. Remove the glass and set it aside. You will need the plastic frame for your new digitizer. Pry it up from the old glass, being careful not to break it. Remove the four screws at the base of the iPod. Pry up the LCD from the adhesive on the back plate. Remove eight screws from the LCD tray. Pull up the tray and peel the LCD's ribbon cable away. Release the LCD's ribbon cable from the main board. To release the battery, pry it from the plate and desolder the contacts. If you need to remove the main board, you must first release the ribbon cable shown here.